once you've chosen your thank you page for your Infusionsoft landing page, you're gonna go ahead and hit this next step button at the bottom and this is going to be your last step, okay? So um, here's where it allows you to actually enter your Google Pixel and Google Analytics um, tracking code, which is awesome. So you can actually insert that in here. So in the um, video where I talked about editing the layout, I talked about the HTML code. Um, I'm sure you can do either one of these, but they do uh, provide an easy access to the Facebook Pixel and Google Analytics code in the back. I would think that this would also work with the clicky analytics tracking code, but we may have to play with that and just make sure everything's working from there. Um, otherwise, you would want to edit that in the HTML code on the uh, landing page itself. Once you're done here, you're going to go ahead and hit go live. Okay, it does take you to a preview here of your live landing page. Now, one thing about this live landing page is it does give you a URL. Um, I'm not personally a huge fan of these URLs just because they're not branded. Um, and I usually don't like taking people to a URL that isn't branded to me. And I'll give you guys a solution for that here in a moment. It does give you the option to share this easily on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Google Plus, or by email. Um, and it will open those automatically, which is really nice. So very easy sharing options, but it does share this URL here. You can also choose to embed this on your website. Um, with our themes that we're using on our websites, I haven't quite gotten this to work 100% uh, yet. Um, I'll show you here what it does. So if I go to a new page and I add a new page here, you're gonna paste this. Uh, we use WordPress, so I'm gonna paste this into the text editing option on WordPress and preview it. And you can see it like, it shrinks down the landing page and it has this scroll bar option. Um, even though the height and width is set to 100%, if I uh, remove the scrolling option. If I say scrolling, no, it cuts off the landing page a little bit for me. And I think that might, that might just be our theme, um, or it may be something with the code that, that they're still playing with. Again, these are still brand new. Um, so let's see what happens if I remove the height. I'm probably going to mess up the code, but that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, it still cuts it off. So um, I'm not a huge fan of the way those look. So what I do is there's actually a plugin that you can install. Um, I'm not sure where it's hosted on Infusionsoft's website. So I'm going to include the link in the description below for you guys to be able to download that plugin. Um, but the plugin for WordPress is really nice and allows you to mask this domain to a domain name um, on your website and um, host that landing page in full the way it looks on this page here. Okay, um, that's how we want it to look. So I have another video on that that you can take a look at and learn more about that plugin. Um, if you scroll down, you've also got social share settings. So you have your link title. Um, so you could say something like free um, ebook, or let's do actually how to um, buy a house, um, free ebook. Okay. Um, you can have a little description in here about it. You can add an image. So when you share this on Facebook, it pops up with a certain image. Um, this open graph debugger, I have not, I have not personally played with that one yet. Um, so I'm not 100% Sure, that one may be something that, that you have to play with. I haven't personally played with that one just yet. The custom domains, um, with this one, I played with this a little bit. It seems like it's something that they're still working on. Um, you can connect a domain name to this landing page, and I believe it's only if that domain has not been hosted with anybody else yet. Um, so you can connect a domain name here. It's gonna have you go to your hosting provider and uh, for the domain name and enter a couple of DNS server settings. So that is a little a little geeky um, for most people. Um, you can also do a subdomain. So uh, if your domain name, for example, is ballonbrands.com, a subdomain would maybe be um, ebook.ballonbrands.com. Um, and you can connect that here. 
but I personally want it to be something like balanbrands.com forward slash um, home selling ebook or something like that, which is where the plugin is going to come into play. Okay, um, so that is basically all the options here once you've published. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about using the WordPress plugin if you have a WordPress website and wanna host these on your website using that plugin.